in the fall of 2018, I went back to Seton Hall. And one of the first things I looked for was campus ministry because before I left, I did um, end up going to a women's household dinner. And um, one of the only things I remembered besides being in class or being at home was that household dinner. And I just remember it being like a breath of fresh air where I was just comfortable and relaxed and it felt really like the environment was just very at home for me. And so I looked for that when I came back and I ended up meeting Isabel, who was a missionary at the time. She invited me to a women's household dinner. And so when I went there, I remembered the same feeling that I felt the first time. I remembered the feeling of being comfortable and being at home and being secure around these amazing women of faith. I think, and I think what was different this time was that I was more open to receiving what the Lord had for me. I told Isabel that I was gonna head out and I thanked her for inviting me. And when I went to my car, the second I closed my door, I just like, I just remember tears just falling and I could hear myself cry. And that was the first time that I could hear all of the pain that I felt throughout that past year and a half and in that moment my heart broke for the person that I used to be who um, didn't feel like she had anyone to the person that I was in that moment and I felt proud of the woman in that moment who was reaching out and putting herself in these situations that would help her grow and um, I realized now those weren't tears of sadness they were tears of joy and freedom and my heart starting to open up to the Lord. Throughout that this whole journey, I've just found such great peace and freedom and trusting the Lord and um, just listening to Him. And so I have no doubt this is exactly where I'm supposed to be.